it's official. Trader Joe's has stocked up on all the pumpkin products. I love this time of year. We're gonna go keep up with what I can find in all the stores. I'm gonna keep going and going and going to all the Trader Joe's around me until I find the products that I've been looking for. I've been stalking the Trader Joe's list, let me tell ya. And um, there's a lot of good stuff out there. And I keep putting my notes, like I want this, this, and this. So we're gonna go find them. If we have to go to a few stores, that's okay. I allotted the time necessary to do so. You know, some stores don't actually get some fall products that another Trader Joe's would. So I definitely wanna go to a few stores and just check them out and you know maybe you guys weren't aware of some of the products that I find there so I definitely want to just do a shop with me I'm not gonna be getting every single item that would be a dream but you know my budget's not there quite yet I didn't have any other fall festive shirts I left them all at home on the East Coast this is about as fall and festive as I can get Luke's diner I mean Stars Hollow is quite the town for fall so I think I'm think I'm, I'm festive enough all right well let's go on the hunt I'm ready see you inside we made it. Time to shop. I found some pumpkin butternut squash bisque and some harvest chili that I had last year. That's really good. Barely any pumpkin ravioli left, so I need to stock up because this is amazing. I guess this is the new salad for fall. I like the one with the cornbread it's last year, but like it was cornbread croutons. This looks good, butternut squash. I found a lot of pumpkin in this section. These are like the Nutri-Grain bars, but Trader Joe's version. We have pumpkin Pop-Tarts, pecan pumpkin oatmeal, and caramel apple flavored granola. I had this last year and this is pretty good. I just don't eat that much granola. And this is seasonal, but it's apple cinnamon oatmeal, which is really cozy to have during the fall time. Pumpkin spice granola bark. Yum, pumpkin cream cheese, I love this. So far I'm seeing all of the pumpkin fall products. This is the pumpkin kringle that's like a croissant inside with a filling, it's really good. They have gluten-free pumpkin spice bagels and then the standard pumpkin bagels, which are really good. I'm glad they have gluten-free now for gluten-free people. I spy pumpkin O's. Oh my gosh, the new section has exactly what I came here for, the fall leaves chips. I guess your face can feel like pumpkin spice too. I am so intrigued with the cinnamon bun spread. I guess you would put it on like graham crackers and stuff. I don't know if I'm gonna get it, but maybe when I see people doing stuff with it. This smells so good and be perfect on top of my toilet in my bathroom. Yum. I have too many candles though, so I won't be getting the diffuser. Vanilla pumpkin candles, they smell really good. And they're made with natural soy wax, which is awesome. And of course, they have their cinnamon brooms. The smell of cinnamon broom always reminds me of Trader Joe's. And they have mini ones, which are really cute. If you're into this like Mexican skull look, they have these for super cheap. I don't drink coffee, but they have two kinds of pumpkin spice coffee. So there you go. This is so good and such a cute little jar. It reminds me of Cinderella for some reason. Like, couldn't you imagine her sitting inside of this pumpkin teacup? I can. Also, another really good tea is the Harvest Blend. Spiced cider juice. Let's see how much sugar is in this. 38 grams, no thanks. Fall kombucha, had this last year. It is really good. Apple, turmeric, carrot, and spices. Then I spotted another pumpkin spice latte in a drink, cold drink form. They have Greek yogurt that is pumpkin flavor, and then they have a caramel apple flavor. Haven't had any of these, and not gonna try it, but just wanted to show you guys. 99 cents. Pumpkin cinnamon rolls are back. If there's one take home from this video, it's buy and stock up on butternut squash mac and cheese from Trader Joe's. This is the best product. Oh, I'm getting so many because I FOMO when it's gone. These s'mores are really good. They are year round, but they're very fall like. Pumpkin cranberry crisps. Haven't seen these before. This with apple butter and then a cheddar cheese little slice on top. Oh yeah, perfect little snack. I spy some Halloween in here. I'm here for it. It's Friday the 13th. I'm feeling the spooky vibes. Chocolate bar, yum. Spaghetti squash spirals with butternut squash and a tomato sauce. I had this last year, that's really good. 
rice, cauliflower, and butternut squash risotto. If that is what you're going for, the risotto, then this looks right up your alley. Pumpkin ice cream. I don't like some of their ice cream, but their ice cream cones, which I'm hoping they have. Let's go see. Oh my gosh, they do. <gasps> Ryan and I love the pumpkin ginger mini cones, and there's barely any left because they're that good. So uh, hold on while I grab some. Some more Halloween for ya. Haunted House chocolate cookie kit. It's like a gingerbread house for Halloween. Then we have the Halloween Jojo cookies and then the pumpkin Jojos. They're both really good. They're just kind of like the knockoff version of Oreo cookies but with healthier ingredients. Maple leaf cookies and then the petite pumpkin spice cookie shortbread cookies with the yogurt coating. These are really good. This is also new to fall. Rustic apple tarts and then the apple blossoms. You guys, I feel like I'm finding everything fall and pumpkin product related that I've seen on Trader Joe's list. I'm very optimistic. Oh, spotted something else. We have pumpkin RX bars if you're going the healthy route this fall. They have these every year, the pumpkin dog treats. Look, the jack-o'-lantern is the face of a dog. How cute. Pumpkin biscottis. I don't think I've ever had a biscotti before, but they have them here. I love this spice cider. It seems so homemade, even though it's not. I'll usually get it in October so we can have it for movie night. Um, but this is really good if you can't go to a local orchard and get some. I found the pumpkin butter. I don't see any apple butter this year. But that's okay because I think I'm going to get some from Williams Sonoma. But this stuff is really good. I might get this later in the season. They have canned pumpkin for your fall baking and cornbread mix. This is one of my favorite packagings Trader Joe's has ever done. Look how vintage this looks. The candy corn popcorn. It's pretty good, but I can't have it in my house. I will eat the whole bag in one sitting. So this is new. I've never seen this before. It says it has roasted almonds, spiced cashews, pecans, candy ginger, and dried apples. Oh my gosh, that sounds really good. I might have to get one of those. A few different pumpkin seeds. I really like these pumpkin seeds. These go great in butternut squash soup and they have so many wonderful fall soups that are already packaged and ready to go. So I'm almost done here. I see the fall harvest salsa, that is so good. And then the last thing I saw were the ghosts and bats potato snacks um, for kids. That's so cute, or adults, but they have them in the little shapes. I think it's a Trader Joe's miracle. You guys, I'm feeling very positive about that pumpkin palooza hunt. I found so many. And we're back. Um, I am very impressed. Obviously, there's some things that weren't in my Trader Joe's, but that's okay. I'm trying to get out of the parking lot here. Um, yeah, there's like the pumpkin body butter I didn't see. There's just like a few things that I didn't see. But I got everything that I really wanted, so it's a win for me. And obviously, I'm going to pick up a bunch more stuff throughout the season. And they are always adding new items. So, let's go home and check out what I got. Oh, fall is in the air. Fall is in the air and in my mouth because we went to Trader Joe's now. Two bags full of fall Trader Joe's products. Let's start unpacking. I laid everything out on my kitchen floor. Let's start with the pumpkin ginger cones because these are a staple in our household. We got a lot of staples here and then a few new items. Um, definitely going to be taste testing the few new items, so stay tuned if you haven't left yet. Holy Cone Pumpkin Ginger Cones are so good. They have a lovely pumpkin ice cream inside. It's just the right amount of pumpkin, just the right amount of cinnamon, not overbearing. Then it has this like hard shell on top. It's not really a hard shell. It's slightly crunchy, ugh, crunchy. And then they have a waffle cone that is a ginger cone. So just everything encompasses a lovely fall bite of ice cream, which we absolutely love. And then over here is something new something I have stocked on Trader Joe's list and the Family Food Dude had posted it. Maple gets a bad rap, I feel like. No one really focuses on maple that much. Well, at least where I'm from. I know up in Northeast, they really love their maple, but maple streusel bread. I don't know what the heck that means, but it just sounds delicious. It looks delicious. There's like streusel on top of this soft. This bread is so soft. So I'm thinking, let me show you the other two products that I got. This is gonna be a taste tester with the other two products that I got. I'm so pumped, but stay tuned. I did get three butternut squash mac and cheese because I am not going to miss out on this this year. Last year, I only got two. And I was really bummed because they're so flippin' good. 
I think this is rigatoni pasta. I really like the shape and form of this, the texture of it. I think, yeah, yeah, that's what it's called, rigatoni pasta. <laughs> Look at me, I'm a pasta connoisseur. But it has all these delicious cheeses in it, and it's just a savory, good pasta. So I got the fall zucchetti pasta, and they're like little pumpkin squash cups, which I love because I usually take a seasonal sauce, toss it in this, or I do like a spaghetti bolognese in here, and then it gets stuck in these little holes that they have in the cups. Oh, I love nothing more than when it gets stuck in the hole. It's just the perfect bite. Or I was also thinking you could use these as like a, a substitute for your noodles in some of your soups, which is very festive, and I'm gonna try that. Maybe like a chicken noodle soup instead of egg noodles this fall zucchetti pasta. So this is what I'm talking about over here, the maple butter. This is one item that I think I need to slather on half of this maple streusel bread. Over here, I did get two, and this is all I'm gonna get this year, the two honey roasted pumpkin ravioli. They're very delicious, but I gotta space out my carbs. So um, I only got two, and this will last me through the end of November. I was so excited when I saw these. I'm like the most excited for this for some reason. The fall leaf corn tortilla chips. They're so festive. Oh, there's something about shapes. It's like the Reese's pumpkin uh, treats that you get at CVS. There's nothing different. They're just shaped in a pumpkin. I don't know. I just think that this would be so fun to put out during football games. Probably just tastes like a corn tortilla chip. Nothing fancy. But these don't have bad dyes in it, which is awesome. Over here I got cheesy spaghetti squash casserole. A creamy bechamel sauce with parmesan and white cheddar cheese. I went ahead and got the pumpkin spiced rubios tea because I love it. And here we are, the cinnamon bun spread. I didn't have it in my cart until I went to the registry and the guy was like, um, have you tried the cinnamon bun spread? And I said, no sir, I'm trying to avoid it. And he said, oh, well, I wouldn't if I were you. There's only two jars left, it's delicious. So I'm putting half of this on my maple streusel bread, yum. Pumpkin cream cheese, the pumpkin seeds for my soups. I got a pumpkin bisque soup. Look how cute the packaging is on that. I love the font. A creamy soup with pumpkin and fall spices. And lastly, I got these pumpkin chocolate chunk oatmeal cookie mix. I heard that these were really good and I'm having a fall night with my friends next month. So I thought I would make this and a few other desserts as well. Okay, so let's go try this streusel bread. So we have the streusel bread and then we have the cinnamon bun and maple butter. Time to slather it on and see what it tastes like. But first, I'm gonna try this cinnamon bun spread on its own, because I'm curious. I just wanna give it the benefit of the doubt before I add it to something else. What the heck? That's, that's really devilish. That's so good. I need one little bite. What? That, is so good. Trader Joe's, Trader Joe's, Trader Joe's. You're crushing people's diets, you're crushing them. Voila, we have cinnamon roll on this side, and then we have maple butter on this side. Let's give the maple butter a shot, because I've already had maple butter before. It was out, you know, a few months ago. Oh, I warmed it up just a smidge before I put the butters on. <sighs> I'm so pumped. Good. I think I bit the streusel apart. Hold on. Let me really get it. Really good. Really good. I'm not much of a bread person. This is nice for like a very sweet breakfast. It would be great French toast bread. Now let's go to the cinnamon bun side. Ooh, lots of streusel on that. The cinnamon bun spread. It's on another level. It's freaking amazing. Oh my gosh. It's like avocado. It makes everything better. Oh my gosh. That is so good. It is so good. You know what you could do? You do it with pretzels, eat it with graham crackers, whatever you want. But what you could really do to stay true to the cinnamon bun theme, get some puff pastry or crescent, crescent roll, crescent roll, whatever you want to call it. Roll it out so it's flat. Put your cinnamon bun spread on there. 
a little extra cinnamon powder, roll it up, cut it like cinnamon buns, drizzle some icing on there. Bam, homemade, semi homemade cinnamon rolls for ya. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for shopping around with me for the fall time. We have so many fall videos coming up, so don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And I'm gonna finish eating this. I hope you enjoyed. Go check out your Trader Joe's this weekend. Bye. See you in the next video.